and welcome back to Minecraft episode 164. Oh yeah, a lot of episodes, man. 164, that's a lot. Is it the most? I don't know. I haven't checked recently. It's hard to tell, too. I'm starting to notice that it's it's more of, of a a thing... Uh, that you're, you're, you're basing it on uh, the amount of time in the video over how many videos there actually are. I mean, I could make a thousand one-minute Minecraft videos, and I would not have more play time by far than a uh, th the series I have now. So that's something to chew on. And I go, oh, leather pants. Isn't that interesting? I called them that, and that's what they're called. <laughs> leather pants. So yeah. Uh, last episode, we talked about the autocrafter among a bunch of other things. <coughs> and <coughs> the autocrafter, I'd like to see it, is a workbench like this. In the workbench, you place, you know, if I wanted a bunch of fences, I would put down a bunch of stacks of sticks. It doesn't have to be stacks. It could be any uh, amount that you want. But you put the sticks down, and it crafts in bulk. So when you click this box, it crafts everything in the menu, not just one click at a time. You'd still have the regular work table if you wanted to to only make a few of something, but the auto crafter would come in handy for bulk projects where you're building massive amounts of um you know you're you're just making huge constructions that require like I could have really used the auto crafter when I was making the uh the rails to paradise in in the original Moria because I had to craft an, a crap ton of smooth stone and mine track and mine carts and it was just you know <coughs> obviously it have to be for stackables but maybe everything should be stackable what do you think about that what do you think about that notch huh huh that's right what are we doing here I'm making uh, a chest to hold some stuff that I just don't need uh, like this flower for example absolutely do not need the flower or the coloring at this time. I may need it later, but I don't need it right now. I do not need... I do need it all. <laughs> I need it! Alright. Uh, the dirt. I don't need all that dirt. The feathers I can turn into... Well, now wait a minute. Let me go and collect this... Uh, oh, that's laggy. Because I'm looking up into the the uh, distance even though the game can't actually see the distance it's there but I left some uh, some flint up here I could use that to make some arrows if it's still here I don't know but I couldn't collect it before so maybe no it's gone oh it is daytime well, I tell you what, let's just forget about that stuff down there, because I don't think it's, I don't see it going anywhere. Oh, nice. Oh, the lag. Come here, skeleton. I'll take you both on at the same time. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Gotta lead the target. There we go. More bones. Oh, you know what? Gotta keep converting the bone meal. Which is fine. I actually like bone meal. I think I mentioned that in, in an, a couple of episodes ago. That I do like the bone meal. And now I can use some of this stinking pork. <laughs> About time, right? There we go free up the room inventory see I gotta take this cobble back to the the chest at the, at the spawn because that's where I want to build and I've decided that I'm gonna go uh, the other way where I found that dungeon that's where I'm gonna explore because it's a little closer and I just don't feel like dealing with that I am not killing you we gotta get this clay too because I can make more bricks that way and this seems to be a huge deposit this is a really nice pile 
Anyone ever tell me, oh, I never find clay? Well, usually no, I don't. A lot of times it's under the water. You gotta, you gotta hunt for it or use cartograph, which is technically cheating, but honestly, all, there's a lot of clay and brick that's not being accounted for because you, you never see it. You can't get to the stuff. So let us use this dirt to wall off the area here. Wow, that clay goes all the way around like that. Interesting. Well, let's wall it off. I'm going to get some of these blocks back, obviously. Okay, where's my shovel? All right. Let's dig up this clay. Hopefully I have enough inventory space for all of it. Because then I'll I'll start building uh, a nice a nice house. Kinda like what happened in season six. I'm gonna I'm gonna do more building in this series. Last series obviously was themed. This series really isn't themed, it's just sort of you know, we're gonna do more building, we're gonna do more uh Oh crap! You gotta be kidding me. Now where did he come from? <laughs> Well, I guess that cobblestone's not making it back. Or the clay. <laughs> Sorry. I'll be editing this. Unless you hear that, then I guess I won't. <sighs> Honestly, sometimes I wonder about this game. Now, that time, that pisses me off because I had full health that time and I had almost full armor. And even when the creepers hit you at point blank, they should not kill you like that. I've survived those blasts before, man. Now I'm pissed. You gotta, you gotta be kidding me. No, I'm not really mad. <laughs> I know I sounded it, but I'm not. It's funny. But I am proving my point. If I, I had not changed the spawn, I would have started back on the other side of the nether that I traveled. And that, uh, that would not be a good thing. I do gotta put this render distance up. Because I'm pretty sure this is a straight line from where I was. To just gotta go around the coastline here. And I think I can get back to my stuff faster because I kinda went around that way and back. So we're hoping. That's where I dug out the cool. We're hoping it's not as far. And if I get lucky and my things are there, great. I'll make preparations to get them back. Get them back to the base. Oh, yeah. And if not, I'll just run back and, you know, try again. That's a really cool pass, though. Oh, there's one of these lava lakes, too, that's on the surface. Looks like it's holding some iron. Maybe I'll... Maybe when I run back through here... I'll uh, I'll get that if I have the means. Oh, you know what the lag. All right, I'll hit the fog up once. I have to see. Yeah, right now my game is using 341 MB, and that's without all the chunks loaded. When they do all load, it's more like 500. So I'm a half a gigabyte of RAM for a, a Java game. I don't think so. That's ridiculous, man. You gotta optimize performance or something. And don't talk to me about being a beta game, because that's one of the first things you fix, is performance. And he tried, but it's just not, not up to par yet. Now, it looks like I see ocean out here. Oh, that's right. The the coastline wraps around and comes back this away. Yep, because here's my lake that I died at. So maybe we will get lucky. It's only been three minutes. Oh, there's more clay, too. <laughs> Interesting. All right, fog back up again. And let's hope that... Uh, there's the bone I missed. Would you look at that? Two for two. I'm a lucky boy. A lot of my stuff collected in that, that water pile, so that's a good thing. I really also don't like how your things go flying everywhere when you're killed. I'm not complaining about that because it, it looks funny in multiplayer, but 
There's got to be a way, like a remote chest or something, because this is too much nonsense. You're going to tell me to not die. You know, how do you not die in this game? You know, seriously. I don't get it. So let me put my armor on again. Because when I collect the armor, I, uh, I make room for more things. You see, my pants got completely destroyed. Um, there's my shirt and my boots. So what I'll have to, what I'll have to do is uh, pick up like the pork here, so I can collect the pants or the shirt. <coughs> and this cow's starting to get on my nerves. There we go. Get the pork chop. Just put my pants back or my shoes back on. Yeah, the pants got completely annihilated. <laughs> However, due to this uh, series of events, I have collected all of the clay, I believe. Let me check over here make sure nothing got flung this way. Does anyone see anything? Okay. Here's my black wool over here. Or is this cobblestone? Yeah, that was the rest of my cobblestone. Yeah, okay, the area's clean. I didn't miss nothing. Alright, you stay there, pork. Wait, actually, I can get away with this. Alright, now, let's get back to the, the spawn. Where I'm technically safer. <laughs> oh, and, and for those of you that are wondering... I do understand that fraps causes lag, but I lag the way I'm lagging now without fraps running. Just the frame rate is a little better, but it's not it's not optimal. So it's not fraps doing it. Fraps is a tiny program. It's well made, but it's tiny. I am not going to be able to hold all this. I'm just going to have to overeat. Yeah, there's <laughs> there's no way. There's another stack. Oh, wait, maybe I will be able to get it all. Sweetness. Why is there 61? That's weird. Oh, well, six stacks of uh, clay. Can't argue with that. Is this an underwater cave? No. It's one of them lakes. Yeah, these these are deceiving. I don't not like them. They They make more nice features on the map, but they're they're deceiving, you know? What what time is it? Oh boy. I really got a boogie. Not in my nose, I mean run. So as I as I said, our plan now is we're gonna get back to the spawn area and I'm gonna set up base Oh here's that oh this isn't the same one, but there's another lava lake. They're cool, I guess. I'm going to set up base over there and build a tower. Instead of a palace, this time we're going to build a tower with multiple levels for different things. Nice reeds. I don't think... Oh, look at this! <laughs> These squids spawn in the... <laughs> what the heck? Oh, man. That's funny. Well, easy ink. They spawned in the the pool here, or maybe there was a lake up there, I don't know, but they came down this this river and just kind of got beached out here. <laughs> well, cool, then I can make some black wool. That is funny. See the weird things that happen when I do this? Makes me laugh, it does. Now, this trip is going to be, uh, kind of, uh, a rough one because I don't think I'm going to make it back by the time night has officially fallen uh, you know it just means I'm, I might have to make a, an old, uh, an, uh, intermediate stop there's a mini floating island as the sun begins to rise uh, the moon rather I meant moon I said sun sorry I may have to take refuge down here where are my torches? There we go. 
Yeah, this might this might do something. Let's see. Fog up. Phaser's locked. And uh, well, maybe. Maybe we get something out of this. No. We don't. Uh, I tell you what, man. Okay. We're gonna do this. Going to uh take my remaining pork and just get ready for adventure because I'm closer now to the spawn than I was before which means I have the home field advantage alright now what's going to happen and I'm leaving a nice little torch trail as I do this Wow, that was pretty far up there. I just have to find my uh, my old cave that I explored two episodes ago, and then uh, then I'll be okay. Cause these mobs are are going to come out. Oh, it's open over here. I didn't know that. I must be on the other side of that spot. Oh, hello, spider. That that was retarded. I really hate it when that happens. When they when you hit the 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 mob, oh, of course now there's gonna be uber lag, which means I have to change the audio. You won't hear it when I edit the video, but when it lags like that, the audio and video get messed up, and it's it's highly annoying. I really can't can't deal with that. But that's not that's not technically the game. That's my system. Oh, now I'm gonna get mobbed by a... Yeah. I heard him. I heard the zombie. There's another one. Oh, it's so exciting. Is he gonna make it? Is he gonna be killed? Well, I'm eating the last of my pork, so... Maybe. Ah! Nope, not going that way. I'm trying to get my torch out. Alright, come here. Ah! Darn it. There's these trees in the way, man. You can't... That was a close one. Fortunately, I've got a lot of arrows. Or at least enough to do this. See, there's another creeper. Oh, crap! <laughs> it's too dangerous outside, man. You can't... You can't compete with that. Fortunately... If it's still nighttime, I can I can look for my torches that I've been laying out there. We're hoping, We're hoping I don't get lost. I am bringing a sword with me though. That's important. It's all I got, and we'll bring some health foods. You schmuck! They won't stop, man. Now I can't tell which way I'm going. Okay, it's this way. There's a creeper right there. Yeah, I dare you to explode. That's right, I took your sulfur. <laughs> Oop, fall in the lake. Don't do that. It's so hard to see what I am doing. Let me get up on the monitor a little bit so I can... There we go. Now I can see a little better. I think there's a zombie out there. Yep. That's what I was... I was sitting too far back. See if we can make these skeletons fight. No, I'm not actually going to do that. Alright, so here's... My death should be over here now. Oh, I wasn't very far at all. It's a good thing, though. Hey, Creeper. I'm not dealing with you right now. Yep, there we go. So let's collect this stuff. I don't think I'll be able to collect all of it, though. Because every time I get killed, I collect more things. Wait, maybe I will, because I ate all that pork. No. No, I won't. And now I'm... What the heck? Alright, you die now. Ooh, that was a close one. 
nice. Maybe I can use these trees to my advantage. If I get the mob stuck in the trees, uh, they won't be able to fire on me. Okay. I gotta get this stuff back before it despawns. And I gotta kill all these creatures. Ooh, of course. Of course, there's a spider. You know what? <laughs> I couldn't hit him, man. Once again, if I had died, I wouldn't have come back here. This has been a very different game. But I am noticing that I'm not very far from my origin at all. As a matter of fact, it's right over this hill. Which is really, really cool. <laughs> I'll probably just run this episode until the day comes back. Because if I stop now, it'll it'll be bad. Of course, that would make a nice cliffhanger. Well, I got this stuff now. Let's go get my other things, which are... Half of them are in the water. Right here. Like, why are you going in the water where there's mobs around? Because I don't give a crap. <laughs> if I could, uh... Alright, I'm gonna pillar. I've had it. Screw you guys. I need to, to regroup here. Is my helmet still good? No, it's probably still laying over there somewhere. But I gotta get this clay back to the... The base, man. I gotta... Okay, down we go. Now that I've got some inventory space. Not much, but it's something. My torches are in the right place. I can see if I collected everything. No, I didn't. And I still haven't collected everything. So much junk. We'll eat this. There, we've got gravel. Wonderful. Let me eat another pork. So I can get the rest of this crap. Okay, that was the cobble. Alright, so. Let's go here. Let's go here. Oh, and that stuff did despawn. That's lovely. That's great. It's so annoying. Alright, I'm going back now. I don't even care. After I equip my bow and arrow. Which is gone. Rage! Oh, so I lost the bow and arrows. I love it, Notch. I love it! You're so kind. You're so generous. Not only did you make me pay, but you make me suffer mentally. I can't tell you how appreciative I am of that. Why would you create something so awesome? You're ruining my life! <laughs> ah, I'm kidding. Of course. I play this game because I like this game, not because I, I have problems with it. Why am I hitting you with a torch? Alright, you know what, Skeleton? Get over here. Come here. Now this is an interesting concept. Let's see what happens if he kills me at the spawn. I'll be invincible! Come on. Bring it. Bring it! Die! Die! Derp! <laughs> I love it. That was an easy death, wasn't it? You actually got to see my things go away. You're dead. Oh, I was right-clicking. <laughs> Derp. Okay, this episode is over. I will see you guys in the next episode where I begin to construct uh, the area here and make it livable. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.